Welcome to the Crown Hills Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to fillet a fish. First of all, I would like you to sanitize your work surface to get rid of any germs and bacteria. Make sure you do this. And we're going to have to be very careful after we finish this activity because obviously fish carries a lot of bacteria and germs that we need to get rid of through the cooking process. So make sure you give this a good clean down after the activity, please. Um, when we're doing fish, we are going to be cutting it on a blue chopping board. I've got one of those here. Um, blues for fish. We have a separate one which is red for raw meat. And we have green ones for vegetables and we have white ones for general uh, purpose as well. Now, I've got my waste management bowl, also blue. And I have a filleting knife. Okay, now the filleting knife is specifically to get the meat and the flesh off the fish bones and if you see the actual blade is very flexible so it makes the job a lot easier. Um, today I have here uh, a nice little uh, sea bass for us to work on. When you're choosing your fish um, please have a good look. Um, the eyes shouldn't be sunken in, they shouldn't be glazed over, it shouldn't feel slimy. If the fresh, uh, fish is fresh enough it shouldn't really have that much of a smell either. If it smells a bit pungent, maybe give that one a miss. Okay, so to actually get on with the activity, you'll notice just behind the head of the fish, there are some little fins here. We're going to place our knife behind those fins and cut at an angle like that uh, towards the back of the head to remove that head piece. Okay, so I'm going to do that with the blade of the knife so lift up your fins, get your knife in. Now remember your bridge and claw method for this. We don't want any cut fingers. And we're just going to place the knife there and just slice through the fish. There will be a little bit of uh, resistance uh, around the spine area. Just persist with that. Um, I can't get it to go. Ah, there we go. And just cut that through. We're going to then put that in our waste management box. Now here we have the spine. This fish has obviously been gutted, so there's no internal organs or anything left in there. We're going to run the knife at the back here, look, you can see on the back of the fish there are some fins. We're going to run the knife just down the back of that um, spine bit there, using our knife, just getting there. This knife isn't particularly sharp, there we go. Just run that knife right the way down the spine. Right, so, okay, just to get us started off. And then what you're going to do, using the tip of your knife, I'm trying to do it so you can see what I'm doing, you should be able, the bottom end of the knife, if you just run it along, you'll be able to feel and hear where the spine of the um, fish actually is. So to get that in there, you just want to just run that tip over those spines like so coming through to the end of your fish, okay? And we're going to just keep doing that until we can get in there. Can't quite get my knife in there. There we go, we're going to turn that over. Do it this way. The, you may find that once you've filleted your fish, some of the little bones may remain in there. You can pull those out with some tweezers if you've got some of those to hand or it may be easier to remove them after you've actually cooked the fish. We're nearly there. As you can see, I'm having to move myself around um, to get the best angle to use my knife. The choppy board is moving, which isn't helping. There we go. Okay. So there's one fillet, and then we can flip that over we can feel where the spine is there and we can do the same on the other side just to remove that spine bit.
keep you nice, nice and flat along the level with the um, surface of your chopping board. There's your second fillet. Okay, so I'm going to remove the bony bit into there. Okay, uh, some of you may like to wear gloves for that. I personally think that gloves are going to be a resistant and it makes it more difficult to be able to handle the actual fish. Okay, now to take the flesh from the skin, what you're going to have to do, it's easier to have it that way, you're going to hold your tail end, starting off that way actually is easier trying to do it so you can see on the video. You've got to get in at a slight angle, like that. Once you've got into the flesh, then flatten out your knife so it's nice and flat on that surface. Keep a hold of that tail end and just run your knife over the skin like that. You can see there, look, the skin and the flesh, okay? And you're going to keep doing that again I'm going to try and turn slightly so you can see better what I'm doing holding on to the skin um, just run it's a bit slippery run your knife over the fleshy bit there you can just feel some bones in there there we go and you have one fillet bit Okay, which I will put on my little silver plate. That skin goes in there. And you can do the same with the other bit. So holding the end of the tail, go in at an angle, sort of 45 degrees, turn your knife flat, and then just run that knife like that along the Again, remove your fillet. Okay, obviously, once you've done that, we need to wash our hands. If you are going away from this activity at any point, don't go off and leave fishy fingers everywhere. Make sure you get your hands washed uh, and sanitized before you touch other implements and stuff. Don't just go and help yourself to knives, forks, and other things because you're going to spread the germs and bacteria. Okay.